Professor. Uh, could I kindly ask uh, Dr. Atika Berry from Lebanon to join the, the podium? So, uh, Dr. Berry is based in the Ministry of Health, and she is the head of the Human Rabies Control Program, and we are very anxious to hear about the efforts you are doing or have been doing in Lebanon. Thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. It's a real pleasure to be with you for the first time. Yeah, thank you. Actually, we have a problem. We continue to have a problem with rabies in Lebanon uh, since many years ago, especially with the high influx of Syrian refugees during 2013 with the beginning of the Syrian crisis. Uh, just to give you an idea, we used to procure around 1,500 to 2,000 uh, vaccine doses per year before the Syrian crisis. Just the year after the Syrian crisis, this number doubled and continued to increase. Last year, we, we bought around 5,000 doses uh, during 2017, and this year, we are planning to, uh, to buy around 10,000 doses. So the problem is really increasing. Uh, there is a small mistake here. Uh, the 5,000 animal bite cases are for, not for the bite cases, are for the uh, vaccine distribution. We have around 1,700 bite cases during 2017, and one rabies, uh, rabies death clinically diagnosed, uh, no uh, lab confirmed, although we sent the specimen uh, outside Lebanon for confirmation, but the result was, uh, uh, was not confirmed. Uh, for animal rabies, uh, we we don't have uh, we don't know uh, about the uh, rabies uh, cases in uh, animals. Uh, we have around uh, one twenty thousand uh, dogs uh, vaccinated. Uh, we have around one twenty thousand dogs, and the ninety percent of them are vaccinated. As pre-exposure prophylaxis. Uh, we use the schedule uh, two doses at day zero, and then one dose at, uh, sorry, sorry, pre-exposure. We use uh, one dose at day zero, at day seven, at 21, and at one year and every five years, but it's not offered by the government due uh, to the shortage of vaccine in Lebanon. Uh, usually it's offered if in very, very uh, few cases, for example, veterinary uh, person from the Ministry of Agriculture, we, use the, we, we give, give this vaccine for free. As post-exposure prophylaxis, uh, we use the schedule zero, uh, two doses at day zero, and then one dose at day seven, and one dose at uh, 21 or 28 days, and the vaccine is free of charge <coughs> offered by the government and paid, for the, uh, paid by the government. Uh, we used to procure uh, the Verorab through uh, Pasteur, uh, but not anymore because uh, uh, it seemed like uh, Lebanon is not um, a good, uh, I don't know, maybe because we are a small country and we're not procuring enough vaccines, so uh, we, we weren't able to procure it through a Pasteur anymore. And lately, we are uh, having the um, Pur. Uh, we have a national zoonotic committee developed by the Ministry of Agriculture and headed by the Director General, uh, and a national rabies committee also headed by the Director General of the Ministry of Agriculture and recruiting uh, different ministries and stakeholders. Uh, as I said, the big challenge remain to uh, procure the vaccine on time. Uh, as for today, we have a problem in procuring uh, vaccines, and we'll be very uh, happy if uh, we can have some help in this. Uh, we are having uh, many uh, uh, training sessions to increase awareness uh, for uh, physicians, for veterinaries, uh, for uh, veterinarian, for uh, people also. We distribute last year around 500,000 brochures to increase awareness, especially that most of the Syrian refugees are living in tents 
or uh, informal settlements and uh, they are having big contacts with uh, wild animals and uh, dogs, uh, stray dogs. So uh, we are trying to increase awareness in order, uh, awareness in order to uh, decrease the bites, but still it's a big problem. Um, just also to give you an idea, from 2001 till 2017, uh, we had about uh, 10,000 cases uh, who, uh, were, who visited our centers for vaccinations. Uh, both uh, exposure and uh, animal rabies as a disease are mandatory notifiable diseases in Lebanon. Among these 10,000, only one case, uh, uh, only one uh, death case uh, was noticed uh, who visited our center. Uh, it was, uh, he was uh, a boy at uh, 20 years old uh, um, who visited our center to get the vaccine, but uh, his uh, neighbor, the owner of the dog, insisted that the dog was vaccinated and uh, we give the vaccine just as the psych uh, psychotherapy, as placebo, not as uh, uh, protocol. We didn't give the immunoglobulin, the bite was in the face and uh, the boy um, unfortunately passed away uh, around eight days after receiving the first two injections and the second one at uh, day seven, he passed away. Um, this is, uh, I think, this reflects the, uh, the need for real awareness. His neighbor thought that even if he said the dog was vaccinated or not, uh, the boy will die anyway. So this is why he lied and insisted on, on his lies. So uh, unfortunately, it cost the life for, uh, for the young boy. Uh, I think this is all what I have. Uh, if, if there is any question, thank you. Thank you.